A local security firms say their top priority is to attract local talent who want to be auxiliary police officers, even as they welcome the government's plans to potentially tap diverse manpower sources. This as the local pool of APOs continue shrinking amid a rapidly growing demand for security services. Alev Amja reports. These auxiliary police officers, or APOs, play an important role in keeping Singapore's law in order. They're deployed at places from airport terminals to commercial banks as well as at major national events. The recent one will be the president election, uh, NDP. For NDP, we deployed, I mean, close to 200 over officers, as well as for F1, I mean, to do the traffic controls on the roads. Mr Ong says demand for such services is rising as more mass participation events return thick and fast after the pandemic. As of November last year, Singaporeans made up about 68% of the total population of APOs, with the remaining 32% being Malaysian or Taiwanese. But sustaining an adequate pool of officers is not easy. This is caused by a shrinking local workforce and requirements like physical fitness. Singapore started hiring APOs from Taiwan in 2017, but the numbers are dropping. We do see some of the Taiwanese, I mean, officers leaving us and went back for many other reasons to further studies. The other one will be health or family matters. To plug these gaps, renewed attempts to expand the places where such officers can be hired from are being studied. Potentially, these include China, India and the Philippines. One firm says the move could help ease the manpower strain. But even so, its top priority is getting more locals to take up the job. That's where our focus really, really lies. We want to, you know, take steps to higher engage Singaporeans, you know, give them a good career that is really attractive and stable. And at the same time, you know, see how we can better uh, integrate advanced ops tech solutions and technologies. An analyst also says this could in turn translate to better training quality. The more we try to, you know, attract locals, the likelihood is that the quality, you know, of, of the people that we are taking in from other countries would also go up uh, because we need to build the trust and we need to put in more training, more screening, um, more oversight mechanisms. And there will be greater focus on upscaling and upskilling uh, and also in terms of how we... Uh, project and um, market such profession. And when it comes to the risk of letting non-Singaporeans carry firearms, Home Affairs Minister K. Shanmugam earlier told Parliament that misuse by APOs is extremely rare. He added that it's also not more prevalent among non-Singaporeans.